think all the way back to August of 2005, right? When I was in South Florida, in Miami, Dade County, I was homeless. I was hooked on crack cocaine. Unemployed, recently got out of prison. And I was standing by these railroad tracks and I was waiting on a train to come so I can jump in front of it. Desmond Mead knows how to fight. He's battled his demons, his addiction, and his homelessness. Then he undertook a fight that would have huge consequences for the nation's largest swing state, the right of felons to vote. And he won until he lost. If the system was working properly, then I would not have had to organize everyday citizens from all walks of life to actually launch a ballot initiative, right? This issue would have been taken care of a long time ago. Amendment 4 passed in 2018, returning voting rights to some 1.4 million felons. But Republicans in the state quickly responded by passing a law requiring all outstanding legal fees and fines to be paid before people with felony convictions could cast a ballot. Many activists say the new law is a poll tax, keeping mostly black people from being able to cast ballots. So Meade leveraged his network again, this time to pay off those fines and fees. We rallied the entire country. Over 88,000 people, right, donated over $25 million, right, to our fines and fees fund. While trying to get those paid off, Meade's group was also trying to register as many people as possible. Hello, how you doing, sir? My name is Connie Burton and I'm with Florida Rights Restoration Coalition. What happened with the young man at the door? Uh, he seemed to kind of be bewildered a little bit and honest by just indicating he didn't know. He didn't know that uh, voter registration had stopped. And he also said that he couldn't vote because he had a background challenge. And I just felt like, wow, this is the person I've been looking for all day. Connie Burtman is trying to get people into the booth, but a new investigation shows state Republican efforts to keep felons from voting is working. Only 31,400 registered to vote since January of 2019, a small fraction of the state's former felons. Do you feel like Governor DeSantis is implementing the will of the people right now? Oh, no way. I, 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 absolutely not. You know, I, I, I think it's the contrary. You know, people have voted for second chances. And here's the beautiful part, is that we brought people together from all walks of life, all political persuasions. Over a million people that voted for Amendment 4 also voted for him, right? Which showed that we had a broad cross-section of support for second chances. The ones who are going there represent what we, our calls right now. Amendment 4, return to citizen, right? Mm -hmm. What we stand on, Amendment 4. Four. Let my people, people vote. vote. Let my people, people vote. Y'all go in there and do it for Amen. me. Amen. On the same day President Trump cast his ballot in Palm Beach, Vino Holloman cast his first ballot in 20 years. He's registered in Gadsden, the county with the highest percentage of newly registered voters who serve time for a felony. Who did you vote for in there today? Joe Biden, Harris, you know, got to get rid of Trump. <laughs> Sorry, Trump, but yeah. Do you have a lot of friends or family that can't vote in this election? I'm sure I do. How does that make you think about your vote? It counts. It counts. Our votes count. You know, just the more you get, the better it is. Do you think that returning citizens can swing the vote here in Florida? Sure. Yes, of course. Of course. It just take people to push them. You know, if they don't know about it, then they won't do it. But voters like David Jones are still in limbo. He wants to vote, but can't afford to pay off what he owes. How much are your outstanding fines and fees? 1,500, yeah. I went to the courthouse, I don't know, a couple of years ago to check to see how much it was, and it was 1,500. Explain how FRRC is trying to help you right now. Well, from what I understand that they pay off fines and fees for ex-felons. 
So I fell in that category. They said that anything up to $1,500, they could pay it, you know, just pay it right away. Do you think you will be able to vote on November 3rd? I do. I do. I have faith that I do, that I will be able to.